In this lecture, I want to show you some useful tricks in Optana Studio. Currently, I'm working in a document that has both CSS and HTML included in the document. I'm going to start with some CSS commands. I'm going to highlight all of my CSS code, and then I'm going to go to Commands, CSS, and I want to validate the selected CSS. Let's try that again. Commands, CSS, let me select it. Okay, Commands, CSS, Validate selected CSS. So make sure you just get the CSS, not the style commands around it. And it will bring my CSS code into the CSS validator. So I have a background error. You can see here the background property doesn't exist because I have a typo. So that's going to appear. There we go. That's right. doesn't show me quite where it's at, but let's see if I can find it back in my code now that I found the error. So let's look for background. Oh, there it is. Background. And we could test this again, make sure it's correct. Close the validator and then we will try it again. Command CSS, validate selected CSS. No errors. That's good. So we can see that everything worked without errors. That's perfect. Okay, it's a good idea to validate your CSS. Often you'll actually want to validate your HTML. So we can also do that. We can go to validate syntax through the W3C. And it'll take it a moment to open up. What it's doing is it's copying all of our code into the page and then it opens up the web browser and I have an error and two warnings so here's my source code we can go down and look at the errors and warnings line 43 value of the border to attribute on the ele table element but to be either one or an empty string so I should be using CSS instead. So this is deprecated. So let's go fix that. So it's very handy to be able to do this. So in my table border, it should be an empty string, not zero. I'm doing it in the old way. And we can save that and we can check it again. HTML, validate syntax. And again, it'll take it a moment. It's copying everything in, checking it, and opening up the browser window for us. Let's hope it's doing that. It's thinking. I just love watching a computer think. The nice thing is, even if you've been programming for a long time, it's very easy to make an error. Sometimes it's easier to make an error because if you've been programming for a long time the standards have changed because what I did there with putting a table border equals zero used to be the standards. That was a mistake not a typo. So now I've just got two warnings and so I can scroll down here and I can look at my warnings. HTML5 is not actually an established standard and I didn't put in my UTF-8 character encoding. But it's successfully checked as HTML5 and it looks good. And so you can also use the CSS validation service. So I think that those are some neat tricks here in Optana. One of my favorite though, and let's take a quick preview so we can see the changes. So when I, now notice when I removed the table border equals zero, now I'm getting the borders in here. So let's go back and take a look at that again. Let's set it up with 
table. I have table border equals none. And let's go back and put the border equals zero back in because that is actually border equals zero. And let's save and preview. And that's actually what I was expecting to get. So even because HTML5 is experimental, look at the errors, but do what works. Now let's take another quick look at some of the commands that we have available. We have HTML. Now let's go back into the code commands, HTML, open document default browser so that you can actually launch the browser. That's a good thing that you can do to test it externally. Other commands for HTML, and you, sh you can play with this. Um, you can insert your doc type. You can have includes, you can format, conditional comments, and so you have a few of these options in here, including the strip HTML tags from documents if you were going to paste it over into Word. Now the CSS toys, tools, toys, tools, pretty much the same thing. One of my favorite things, let's go to the CSS and let's play with our background color for the that blue area. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this color here. And I'm going to go into commands, CSS, insert color. And it brings up crayons. So I can pick various blue backgrounds or I can go into the spectrum or I can pick a color here from the apple palette or I can go into a grayscale slider or RGB slider or my favorite because I like to use them is the color wheel so I can pick the shade of blue I want a little bit more purpley. Okay I like that. When I close this it puts in my new code. So when I get rid of the old code that was there. Save and preview. I think I might have gotten rid of the wrong one. Let's try that again. So let me just get the color out of here. We'll delete that. And then commands, CSS, insert color. And let's make sure I get something totally different so that I know that I really got what I wanted. Let's go a little bit lighter in shade and close it and save it and preview it. Yep, working perfectly. Not necessarily the absolute best color combination, but you can see that I'm changing colors. So there's some neat tools in the command section of Optana Studio, and you should play around with them.